Elemental was a controversial film, mostly because people did not agree with the art style, which I generally agree with. It does look kind of weird. Real quick, remember, not a lot of editing on these videos. Go to the main channel for that. Yeah, this is my four-part Disney series. 2023 Disney series, bitch. We're gonna get real weird with it. Halfway there, kind of. At the end of this video, we'll be halfway there. Anyways, Elemental. Spoilers. Movie was great. I didn't expect it to be like a race thing, like a ra like a goddamn race war going on or whatever you want to call that. Like, I didn't expect that fire, water, uh, grass, and air and we're all like just gonna like hate each other. I had no idea what the movie was gonna be about. I don't watch trailers for shit I'm gonna watch. I just don't do that. Don't ever ask me to like react to a movie trailer if I'm gonna watch it. You get an hour and a half with a movie. If you spend most of that movie, you know, I don't want to spend most of that movie knowing what's going to happen. I don't ever want to do that. So if I know I'm going to watch it, I don't do it. And I watch every Pixar movie. Pixar, uh, I think, set a very high bar for quality. Now, a lot of movie snobs would be like, that's not true. But if you don't watch as much animated shit like me, it is very true. I mean, I always, I usually have a good time with Pixar. Soul is one of my favorite movies of the last 10 years. My favorite Pixar movie. And I've been watching them since I was a fucking little bean sprout. So, so uh, yeah, going into this, I was a little hesitant, but... Uh, I think the way they handle the conversations between the characters and their dynamics, you know, the water dude, the fire chick, uh, both acted very well. Yeah, I think I think they did a good job. I think it was respectful. You're obviously pulling for both of those kids throughout the whole thing. There's a couple times where I thought I was going to cry, which is usually a good mark from a Pixar movie. Not every Pixar movie makes me cry. It still made me cry. Like, obviously, it's... One of the reasons I love it so much. If your movie can move me and make me feel like that, you did good, champ. This one came really close, especially near the end when he's in the pizza oven, the fucking brick pizza oven, and he's like, you know, evaporating and shit. I'm sitting there like, oh my God, no, please. They're finally found love within each other's arms. They can touch now. Like the parents will have to understand. And then he fucking dies. He fucking dies. But then he comes out of the bricks and then lives. So like, that was good. Uh, that's a terrible explanation of it, but maybe you should watch the movie. It's really solid, bro, and he doesn't die, so that's like the biggest spoiler you could possibly give. This is an awful review. This might be the worst review, but then again, Elemental came out like last year, I think, so pull up my stats. Nope, nope, that's only a few months old. It's only a few months old. It, it's still a really fun watch. Uh, the performances given are fantastic. Honestly, they were all so good and recognizable voices, but... The only one I really recognized by the actor's name was Catherine O'Hara, or Hera, however you say it, the freaking Home Alone Moira from Goddamn Shit's Creek. It was the only voice I really, really recognized and knew the actor's name, and I think that's because the actors in the movie are all super recognizable and you know who they are, but they do so well with the role that you just don't even care. You're not even really listening for their, you know, hey, you know, where's the big cameo? Who's going to be the big? Because, like, Disney's really good with this cameo. So we'll get into that with uh, one of my upcoming uh, movie reviews, Disney movie reviews. But, no, ultimately, great performances. The writing is a little predictable. I mean, it's incredibly predictable. You know where the movie's going the whole time. But the nice thing about it is the pace it works well. It's exciting. There's, like, some fucking weird shit they get away with, which is kind of interesting for Pixar. Uh, there's two big weird things. So if you do plan to watch it, skip ahead, like, 30 seconds or some shit. I don't know. Uh, they, they call the fucking dude Ashhole. And I was like, what? the hell and then they say they're gonna make hanky panky the, the grandparents say we're gonna go make hanky panky like straight up so yeah those are the two weird references was not expecting i'm not sure if that's even been 50, 30 seconds or fucking jesus christ go watch the movie i would honestly put elemental at like an eight out of ten seven out of ten seven out of ten it's not as good as soul or toy story or The Incredibles, or Ratatouille, like, I'd say there's very few 10 out of 10 Pixar movies, but if you want, I can rank them, because I have seen all of them, I think, except for Brave. I don't know why I didn't see that one, I just haven't seen it yet, I plan on seeing it. If you want, we could do a, a, a ranking of that on the secondary channel, I'm totally down. We could even do it live on stream if that's what you're looking for. 7 out of 10. Woo! Alright, we're moving, we're moving.